Okay, now we're on step three, keyboard shortcuts. This one's pretty straightforward. We'll just copy that code. We'll go here and we will paste it and run it. And this tells you how you have control P to pause and unpause. And look, it's just a counter. And if I would do control P, it pauses and nothing's happening. No timer fired, red box. And if I control P, it unpauses. That's built into the app. So our code right here is doing nothing. There's no key pressed. We're not taking care of that. That's built right into the app class itself, okay? And you can control S to save a snapshot. If I hit control S, it'll ask me where I want to save the snapshot. Save as foo. And then on my desktop right here was foo.png. And look, when I open that, that's just a uh, snapshot of, uh, of that, which is nice. OK. And then I can control Q to quit, which I do control Q. And, oh, one second here, control Q, and it's gone. The reason it came back was I was running the app twice. So let me do that again. I'll run it. I'll control Q and quit the first one, and the second one runs. And control Q and the second one also closes. There's the reason we're doing showing you this is because you can sometimes get in a situation where quitting isn't enough. Like quitting for some for some reason is wedged. In which case you can use a control X, which does a hard exit, and watch what happens there. When we do control X out of the first one, the entire uh, Python is closed using what's called os.exit, which is a uh, it's a heavy-handed way to exit, but it will exit for sure. And then the second one doesn't run. So try to use Control Q if you can. So uh, to revisit what we did, there's Control P to pause and unpause, Control S to save a snapshot, Q to quit, and if really need be, uh, X to exit. And that's it.